Hi guys, it's Adrian from AGW Music and today on a, on a desk or on a floor to be honest we've got a Zoom 3030 simply called 3030 well I've been uh, looking for uh, you know um, like tutorials and stuff over the internet or is it any good at the moment we've got the end of uh, 2019 so this unit is actually it's my one of the first multi effects which I using still today over the gigs and uh, I was looking for some comments if it's still worth it or if people are using still today this uh, kind of uh, equipment and I saw many many uh, comments that are actually not clear and not uh, say not adequate that what what you've got in here so because people don't know how to use the thing and I'm gonna do a good good uh, long tutorial how to use this machine if you find it on a attic or in the basement or somebody give you this for free or or you find a drunk man who's just giving out the equipment and uh, you know you need to hear my voice how to use it and right so what we're gonna hear we've got a zoom actually it's switched to the well, let's grab it it's switched to the Bringer, which is recording to into my laptop. Yeah, I just grab the camera and show you how it is set up. It's on the floor, and there is a standing uh, computer which is recording my guitar and my playing. I'm gonna use my old Zag guitar, which is a brand of mayonnaise from Poland. It's a good guitar. It's uh, it's not expensive. It's not expensive. As everything it's here, it's not expensive. But you know, to be honest, if somebody tell you this, this, uh, this unit is actually not true because people don't know how to use it. Okay, let's hear some some voices. That's what you hear is uh, directly recorded in studio from from the unit okay i'll show you how to switch it correctly first because maybe you you find it somewhere and nobody tells you anything about it so it's a uh, full tutorial so sorry if it's gonna be long but it's gonna be deep deep and uh, yeah uh, here is come here coming uh, 9 volt 300 milliamp power and this is uh, you have a uh, phones headphones here which is actually I'm using directly from my uh, sound card and this is left channel and right channel and input jack and of course you need to avoid this kind of plugs you know why because this is the plastic now this is all the plastic some people think okay it's it's shit but uh, but it's actually not as bad we need to be careful with this you know i've been using this since 10 years and i've changed actually this jack and i changed uh, one of the switches here which is actually actually micro switch but it doesn't really matter now once it turn on you're gonna see Mr. U0. Let's zoom in now and let's hear some voices. Voice of the guitar. Yeah, nothing is recorded. Why? Okay, it's no sound. Now it's sound. Right, so let's have a see what we got in here. What we've got in here. We've got a uh, basically 
once you plug it in it probably will show you a group P0 which is factory presets presets you've got one two three four five six and zero so it's seven banks bank we switch here and here is a presets yeah and this is factory presets <laughs> In manual, you've got what is it? And the drive patch, factory presets is uh, well, say what the fuck? Uh, it's bank zero. It's a uh, drive sound bank, which is drive king special distortion wave old and that's it. That, uh, uh. But actually, I never used these presets in ten years of uh, gigs. Let's hear it. So on. here we the clean guitars. And actually, so we've got this all of all of presets, yeah, all of presets, factory presets. It's, um, you know, it's 32, I guess, of these presets. But, to be honest, uh, they are not good. They are not good because they are not, you know, switched like you want to switch this. So, let's go straight from... I'm going to show you how I was using this over the years, over the weddings. I played at least 100 of hundred of nights or more than hundred even uh, with audience hundred and fifty people at least so and it's been good you know it's not uh, I'm not uh, never put me out of this of the stage and uh, never breaks and uh, you know I, I I can't say anything wrong about it. Of course, it's not professional. I would say because uh, because it's got a sound like a little bit uh, metallic. I would say or uh, or noisy sound. But uh, actually, I recorded like two, three songs in professional, and it's been good. So, well, let's have a look. How to set this correctly because this is the Q. The Q. The Q. The Q. Okay, so what I was gonna show you. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to set this thing for normal use, like everyday use. Let's say you're playing with a band, and uh, to be honest, I was using only four. Most of the time, I was using four banks. Of course, you've got like if we switch group user yeah if it's a dot here it's a presets and user but if it's not a dot here you've got only user you've got only user banks so I go user zero this is uh, my presets. Clean guitar. This is clean guitar. This is a light overdrive guitar. No, this is with, actually with, uh, with uh, flanger. Flanger guitar. Here I've got the lead guitar for for solo and for.
four bank is for soft solos. <laughs> Like a lead guitar, but without distortion, for for you know, like melodic things, stuff like this. Right, what we've got it here also. The perf uh, this is also a tuner in this unit. If you press any of banks, it's bypass. You see BP bypass, and it's goes like no sound, no, no. It's going directly to your amp. And it's and it's tuner here now, yes. But if you are on stage and you wanna just you know adjust your guitar, you need to press and press and hold, and it goes and no sound. You see how you saw this, yes? BP no sound. So now I can see. If my guitar is tuned, yeah, G, D, and so on and so on. No, it's not gonna. It's not good. So let's adjust it a little bit, just for you guys, so you will hear the clean guitar. Clean guitar for you guys. All right. Yeah. So now it's bypassed. No, now it's bypassed. And you've got a tuner working all the time. But so let's say, and this is the value volume of this unit. Now it's 40, and you go plus and minus, and that's the volume of the unit itself. Yeah. So that's the first we wanna. First you wanna adjust this, and first of the first. You know, because people say, oh, it does not have a sound and blah, 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 blah. But first you need to set your amplifier for clean guitar and for bypass. Yes, so you switch the bypass, you play, of course, this is going to, it's gonna, it's recorded directly into the computer. So it's not a, the, be the best sound it can get. Because if you have an amplifier for the guitar, any kind, the cheapest one even the there is a sound connect there is a sound sound design like uh, it is uh, for guitar so it push the middles more you know like a normal amplifier you need to keep in mind that this unit have amplifier simulation which is actually on but I get it into sec in second how to adjust this for your amplifier so let's say we want to program these four switches yes let's say we're gonna program this as I was using this for clean guitar for let's say flanger for overdrive and for solo let's pick a bank whatever you don't have to do it but I pick user 3 or maybe even user 4 to to have it like it should be have yeah so first of the first we're gonna go for edit mode if you see it's edit we go to edit mode and the light is on so we are in edit mode and now on this mode we can actually not using any banks or anything else we can have it like like a, like a board like a normal board with pedals so first we have a compressor I maybe zoom in a little bit so you will have it more clear yeah. Okay, now we go. Compressor, equalizer 1 or wow wow mode, distortion, equalizer 2, effects or sound effects as a fix, effect, second effect, next effect, reverb, and rest total. 
So that's our chain. Every, every, say how it's say, uh, every column is an effect. So every column's got own effect. So this is compressor, this is equalizer, this is distortion, this is EQ2, and then we switch the bank and we go another four. Effect one, effect two, reverb, and this is top button for going if you want to set, set the tempo for delays. Yeah, so you can use it like this on studio or on your garage or whatever, on your practice with a band. But uh, for fast, faster uh, use, you can just uh, store it into different memories so it's faster for you to play to switch from one patch to another patch but first of first we need to just switch everything off so you can see now it's everything off and that's my clean guitar with even no with even no with no compressor, with nothing. And first of the first, how, first of the first, I already told you to see, this is patch level now, yes? If you go out from the edit mode, you need to switch the volume correctly. Let's say I am go 40, master volume, yes? Then I'm outside the edit mode. Now I'm coming back to edit mode. And I'm setting my amplifier, yes? the tone of the amplifier I'm setting the most I like it because this is the the cue this is not gonna produce all the sound it's all together with guitar with cables with your amplifier or with your headphones or with your whatever you're using or recorder or whatever then you need to switch master level master volume you switched master volume okay so you hear the guitar if you hold it you can tune it yes once more yes then you tune your guitar whatever yes everything fine then we go to edit mode in any program on edit mode we need to switch everything off how you know if it's all on off if we switch any of this you will see the dot here that means the effect is on so you make sure and this is one bank and another bank you see there another yes and here is a tap tempo you see if I play like this then it's tap tempo we go we go to this later on but first of the first we need to switch all the effects out so it's like a crazy out this board even no compression okay that's how my guitar is sound now I'm gonna change my pickup for a humbucker that's the sound okay and now what we're gonna see here is amp simulator this is the thing what people don't know about it we go straight okay and how we gonna go there you see the matrix here yeah the table and we go say the last row the last column and uh, one two three four row that's amp simulator so we go with this left or right and up and down so it's module and parameter I go to module you see the dot is coming here I'm going one 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 and here I'm here and then I go one up going one up so I am amp simulator parameter four and here here is blinking and here is blinking it means I'm on amp simulator mode and it says 
one. What does it mean? What, the <clears throat> what is one? Actually, you got uh, here like a quick, quick checklist, but it doesn't say which amp simulator is. Amp simulator could be zero. Then I go for 100 watts amplifier, let's say this is says in manual. Then I go another amplifier. And I've got the third, the big one. I don't know which one you like best, but you need to hear what the sound is coming out of your amplifier afterwards. You know, this is really important stuff. You need to make sure that this amp simulator, once we switched, it's gonna have it all the banks you store it here. So it's not it is not saved with preset. I mean you can change it anytime you like after even you done with your presets you can change it for example into another occasion I'm playing now on headphones so for example I like to use first amp simulator but in the evening I'm going for a party when I will be plugging another equipment and then I don't need amp simulator, so I switch to zero. And it sounds like this. Alright, so let's say I'm gonna use a third amp. Let's say I like it. So, I repeat again, this is important. This is important to know how the board is sounding by amp simulator. Let's say I like number three and then I can go with the effects and equalization afterwards. Okay, so I told you in the beginning that I'm gonna switch on the first pedal a plain guitar because of course if we have a multi-effect we're gonna use it first of the first is compressor let's go to compressor on the mode of compressor we have two modes on the compressor you see if it's off there is nothing here if it's on then it's compressor. So now I've got a plain guitar with amp simulator and I'm gonna s select a compressor. This is with compressor. This is without. If I go on number one, you see it kills the bass, the tone, the lower tone of the guitar. So I'm gonna use it for full mode, for mode one. I go to tone, it's on 10. You see, no compressor? Compressor kills the tone, kills the high. So I'm leaving like full high with attack. Let's say fast attack and sensitivity on. Say 
five. You see, this is a, like a boost of the guitar, like a boost of the uh, signal. This is really important to set it proper, to have it like because the compressor is the first and this is going through the, all the signals. No compressor and compressor. But let's, have, let's leave it for now. Let's say I want EQ. EQ, this EQ, because I want to just EQ my guitar, I want to have my compressed, I said on the first pedal I want to have a compressed, nice sounding guitar with a little of reverb, let's gonna do it, EQ2, and here, and here, and it's nothing, because it's switched off, I go here, it's switched on now, yeah, see, here is distortion, here is effect. Okay, I'm gonna go... Let's say treble. I don't want this metallic sound. Middle. I go cut the middles. And I want to have a little bit of bass. Yeah, sounds good. Without the cue. With a cue. going good and now I want to go to add a little bit of reverb so I'm gonna go to next of the four and switch the last one this one this one is for reverb you see on and off and straight I go for editing a reverb so I'm gonna here with left and right and to the parameter one type of reverb and here I've got three reverbs to choose how room and ping pong delay let's hear it whole reverb that's whole reverb that's room reverb And that's a ping pong delay, whatever it is. Ping pong delay. Okay, so I just want a hover reverb. And let's say time. It's 8 of 10. So let's see. You see? This is how gonna be this reverb long. I'm gonna have a like eight, let's say. This is pre-delay or feedback. This is This is gonna be like a, if the sound is coming, if it's on the straight on or after. Or in delay, probably it's like how much feedback is it. Let's say, well, let's come back to this ping pong delay time three and we go parameter down. So if I go to 10 and it goes forever, see, goes forever. So if it's short then it shorten yeah so let's come back to our whole reverb type number one and let's go down pre-delay seven tone it is how bright the reverb is I wanna have it I wanna have a bright reverb and this is how 
is mixing with all the another effects. See now it's a lot of reverb and now it's a little bit of reverb. I like it, uh, maybe a little bit too much, so I'm gonna cut it a little bit by time. Right, so now I'm fine. I'm done with the first preset. So, how to store it and where, where, where to store it, yeah? I want to have this on this pedal. If I press this pedal, I want to have this effect so I click the button store the magic button store and now it's blinking like a Christmas tree so now it says be careful I'm gonna override the patch but don't be scared then you need to select the bank you wanna use I wanna use bank uh, bank four for this occasion. Let's say entire entire row with on user number four. Look, of course, I can use different memory, but I want to use the first memory. Then I want and I press the store next one, and it's stored. So on the first pedal, I've got my. That's how it sounds. Very nice. I've got clean guitar set. So this is the, the main part you're going to use all the time. If it's too much reverb, you just go, for example, you say, okay, man, in, at home I, I like the reverb, but now I'm in a big hall and I don't want this reverb anymore. So what are you going to do? You're going to come back to edit mode. Yeah, you're going to find your patch when you want to edit. You go edit and then you go to reverb here. And then you just go switch this reverb off. But, and with reverb. If I want to have no reverb, then I go store. Asking me, Christmas tree is asking me where to put my my store. I I'm on the same yes store. And now I've got the patch. Without the reverb, I only have a compressor and a Q. I only have a two, two effects on this bank with no reverb. And say again, edit, going to reverb here. I switch the reverb on, store, Christmas tree asking me where, here, store with reverb okay so that's the, our first path now <laughs> let's have some distortion because yeah what about distortion guitar I want to have a rock and I want to have the power of my guitar I want to rock like a like a like a king king rock Okay, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna use this patch already because I like the sound of my guitar. I like reverb, and I like what I've said before. So I left left this on. Then I go edit, and you see everything is like I said before. So I only only gonna use. A distortion so where is my distortion my distortion is here on the third column 
So I'm gonna look for third column. First is compressor, second is EQ, and the third is distortion. Oh, I sound like shit. Sorry, guys. Without distortion, it sounds like before good and clean. But if I put the distortion, it doesn't sound any good at all. Why? Why? And I'm hurry to explain why. Let's have a look. Type. First we set the type of distortion. What are we gonna do? Let's say I wanna have a, like a... What are we gonna use? Let's say a lead, lead guitar. Yeah, let's go through this here. We go to type of distortion, yes? First we're gonna switch this distortion on. Then we go to we switch off equalizer and we switch off the reverb. We switch off the reverb, so we have only compressor, compressor, and distortion. Only these two effects. For now, we're gonna see how it sounds. How is the juice coming out? How is the juice coming out of the? Type, type 4 is now, oh man, it's not a sound at all, it's distortion 2 says, overdrive 1, overdrive 1, I say, overdrive 1, then overdrive 2, then 2, oh, okay, distortion 1, it's getting better, ah, not for me, Blues overdrive, fools, a lead guitar, metal. Oh yeah, I I gonna stay on number seven. Let's say for lead guitar, it doesn't sound at all at now, but we're gonna work on it. Oh, it's just the distortion. Okay, let's go down. Gain. It's how much gain I want. It's out of 16. Yeah, so I gonna. I want to have maximum gain. I sound like a toy, but let's have a see. Tone. See, this is bright. And this is dark. I wanna. I wanna dark for now. Are you gonna see the level of this? See level. And zoom noise reduction. If it's higher, then it kills the, you know, the sound. If you're not, if you're not, if you're not playing, yeah. It's, uh, it's hard to explain, now, but. Uh, you see, now it's distortion, and now it's less. So it's like a, it kills the your, kills your, your. Uh, it kills your uh, noise from the guitar, let's say. But yeah, that's how it is, and uh, then we need to equalize this to make it more 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 power I would say so we've got the mids on minus three and uh, treble level of the equalizer and the pass yeah it's it's pretty much okay but you need to remember about the amp simulator. Let's go to there uh, for a moment. Because this is the entire sound of the unit. 
number three. Then I go number one. Then I go no, I'm sorry. You see so many different sounds in one distortion effect. You need to keep in mind that. Okay, uh, of course it sounds not quite good on the headphones, on this exact jack, but it sounds good on amplifier, believe me. It sounds good on amplifier. Because amplifier itself will have a sound so as well. Alright, so let's say I'm not quite happy with this, but let's see what we're gonna add more. This is without equalization, you see, and this is now with equalizer. It's quite better sound, but we need to, of course, we need to use a reverb. Reverb. Okay, now it's getting better. For me, it's a little bit too bright, this guitar. Let's make it darker. And let's make it darker. So we go back to tone of the... Actually, tone is zero. So I go treble. switch another option on the guitar so maybe I'm I'm happy with the sound for example let's say because you can you can spend all the night and it's not the point let's continue with the say I wanna have a delay like ping pong like for solo let's say, say I'm gonna uh, use it for solo so I'm gonna add another effect too which is uh, which is uh, this one here and there we go to see how about the type of this effect is. I'm gonna be quick here. Type up to parameter. It is says type free. Effect two type free. And it's uh, stereo horse. No, it's number three, so it's mono delay. But uh, let's uh, let's have a look. Stereo horse. <laughs> That uh, sounds nice, but and this is like an uh, auto pan. You see, auto pan. Ah, I don't like it. And mono delay. Oh, that's what I like. And here you see, this is a. Uh, of course, you can tweak it here this time. You know, like uh, time of uh, uh, how deep it's how how gonna be how long it's gonna be delaying. The, you know, the, and how what is the rate and switch. But if you see if if I play that uh, that's how my sound is going to. For example, yeah. So I play ta 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 ta. Yeah. 
So I want to have it longer, for example, yeah? And longer. A little bit brighter, I say I want to have it a little bit brighter. I'm gonna add more mids. Okay, let's say I'm happy with this. Again, store Christmas tree and now you see I need to go here if I like to hear because if I put one more time store then I overwrite my previous guitar. I want to have this overdrive guitar, let's say here. And I press store again and it's stored. So on the first I've got my clean guitar with a reverb and on the second I've got my lead guitar. Okay, and now I want to have on the third, I want to have the same guitar but only with flanger or with chorus or whatever you like. So first I'm gonna switch this clean guitar, edit and I'm gonna switch uh, effect, yeah, effect. So I leave my equalization. I want to switch my effect here. See? And I'm gonna check what the effect I switched. So I need to be here. Type. So I go there, here, and up. Parameter up, and it's number five. Course. So, and it's set already, yeah? You can set it uh, as you wish. Let's say it's set. I like it. Store, Christmas tree, number three, store. So, compressed guitar with EQ and reverb, overdrive guitar with EQ and delay and reverb and then flanger and then I want to have a, like a, I don't know what else we need to have uh, say I want to have this guitar but brighter let's say or with with delay as well so let's come back here edit then we go and switch another effect here. Let's say I want to delay this effect. Very nice, very nice. People like it, I'm telling you guys. Store. Christmas tree. Number four. Store. Now, my board is set, let's say. Oh my god, it's 52 minutes. Okay, let's have a look. Number one, clean guitar with compressor. Solo. Then, what is this? Ballad song. And so on and so on, yeah. And here, what else? Country music or whatever. With a long delay.
you know, you've got all of this here. And uh, let's say uh, I would like to have an auto wall, let's say, on this. Yeah, very easy. Edit, go to where is auto wall? It's EQ number one, number three. EQ number one, type three. not working but I need to select sensitivity or because every guitar is and without reverb for example Okay, so now you've got the idea. If I don't want to store it in a program, just I want to go edit out and that's it. And I'll come back, but still, I've got this wall. But if I press and add again the program, you see now it's changed into my original, original like uh, I said before. Okay guys, uh, so that's the, the thing, a little bit more about what about the patch levels. You see, this is the patch level. You can, on the end, on the end you can have this patch level the same, so you can adjust the volume of the patch. Yeah, so let's say I said 42 on the first one. Christmas tree again. This overdrive guitar. I wanted to have it more, more punchy, yeah, because my solo, this is my solo, I'm gonna have it more punchy, more volume, more high, so I store more, you see, and then solo, yeah, that's the power, that's the gain, okay, and of course, uh, you've got the pedal, and it says, here, if you go over different patches, you see that the, that this is set to volume. If you're playing on the concert or on the gig, you adjust your guitar here. Can you see? Of course, you can set into a wall, so you got a pedal sign which is uh, on the last column in edit mode for example I go here and top parameter top then I've got one so it's volume on the second I've got wall but I don't have this effect on but if I go if I switch this effect on wall wall pedal wall so it's number two yeah. Of course you can store it, let's say I store it, Christmas tree number one, so on the first I've got now wobble pedal, yeah, and on the third I've got flanger guitar, but the pedal is volume, you see, and of course this pedal mode is working, that is full down, it means full power and full up, it's no sound but I can yeah, I can change it upside down if I like so I'm going to pedal mode number two so now if it's full down it's no sound and full up it's sound so it's up to you how you're going to set and of course this is another option here semi uh, serial or parameters how the chain is working in serial mode is going one after one effect yes so it means like all the effects going all the effects going one by one by one by one and if I go to parameter parallel mode, mode it goes all together with all the inputs and output on the on the end 
So that's two. You can switch like this or like this. It's of course up to your sound and up to your equipment how you're gonna set it. Of course you can set it with, our, with the parameters. All the uh, boarded area are not set. I mean I don't know why it's here but patch level is stored into the pipe but amp simulator is for everything and master level is also for everything. So that's it. So uh, don't tell the others that it's uh, that it's uh, bad you need because it's quite good as I said to you I played a lot of weddings with this pretty much all the genres of the song styles you know it's it's good you know it's it's, it's nice it's nice <laughs> everything in here you don't need much more really to be honest I'm telling you guys if you play uh, the music is just uh, no normal styles like you know disco styles and a little bit war a little bit funky style a little bit rock and a little bit solos that's you know it's everything you need really no no no, no big deal no big deal and the sound is it's okay you know it's not it's nothing you know I think you need, you're not gonna be a Santana, but you know, but, but you're gonna play Santana if you like. It's okay, you know. It's okay, you need to just grab the thing, just find your sound, find your sound in your amplifier and, you know, just go and play and just, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, stay, stay tuned. Yeah, cheers, bye.